Okay, study. Attention. Okay, that's that's done. Okay. That, okay. 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 Good. Good morning, everyone. Morning, morning. Thank you, previous two teams, for their presentation. Uh, these were excellent. So uh, this is our presentation on the action plan, how to improve the EMS operation. So Outlook NAFOR presentation includes an executive summary, an introduction, and the objectives of this presentation, like why um, we did this group work, what we want to achieve, and then the problem analysis of the current situation, current operational structure of EMS around um, the Asia Pacific region, and especially in the in the four countries of our group, and the summary of the analysis and uh, some strategies we have proposed to improve the EMS operation um, among these four countries, and action plan for our four countries and conclusion. So this is our team. Um, I'm from Bangladesh, Anapia, and Samdev from Bhutan, Aminath from Maldives, and uh, Devnidhi from uh, Nepal. So it's our executive summary. Actually, it's um, it's a summary of our whole presentation. Um, what we wanted to uh, tell you um, to improve the operations of EMS. So we all know this, uh, this world characterized by the rapid globalization and interconnectivity. The EMS emerged as a linchpin in facilitating seamless cross-border e-commerce or cross-border deliveries. So EMS plays a vital role um, in facilitating swift and efficient cross-border mail and personal deliveries within most of the countries around the world. We know that. And uh, since EMS is very important for deliveries and logistic services, so enhancing the EMS service quality is also very important. Uh, and, and it needs a comprehensive and collaborative approach. And by orchestrating the intricate balance of the oper operational integrity, cutting edge technologies uh, integration and unwavering commitment to the customer centric approach, uh, so our report outlines the three strategies to improve the EMS service or operation among these four countries. So we know that without quality of service, no development can occur in the postal market because it is very much customer centric. If you cannot give customer the good service, efficient service, they will not take our service. So quality is very much needed. So all postal operators upgrade their postal service to retain their customers, define their own market presence and remain competitive. Because you know that um, uh, in the whole world, the po postal department has a lot of competitors like DHL, FedEx, and so they, they hold the most percentage of the market share. And now question arises why? Because their service quality is good. But maybe ours are lacking some things, so we need to identify what we lack, what, why we can't grab the most percentage of the market share. So EMS service quality is very instrumental in driving economic growth, fostering relationships, and providing link to the modern interconnected world. So uh, these are the objectives of our study, like what we want to achieve, like um, in our this presentation we have assessed the current year service quality uh, and I, we have identified the gap and challenges um, uh, among these four countries. Uh, we have evaluated the current operational efficiency uh, and technological integration needed. For what kind of technological integration is needed for quality improvement? We have analyzed the cross-border performance. Uh, and what are the best practices are uh, following are followed by the um, you know the achiever countries and also to propose an uh, action plan. So it's it's just a definition of quality of service. According to Wikipedia, quality of service is the description of measurement of the overall performance. So uh, the measurement of our performance or what we do is uh, is is a definitive. Thing for quality of service. <coughs> so UPO, the um, Universal Postal Union, who is the you know uh, the guardian of the postal sector of the world, so they have set some 
a standard for quality service. So these standards um, include EMS events. You know, we, we know the uh, EMS operation or any logistic operation have three uh, legs, leg one, leg two, and leg three. Leg one is export and transmission and delivery. So, uh, so all these things uh, we call the EMS event. So uh, EMS event, the efficiency of the EMS event is one of the standard is uh, set by UPO. And ITNET, you know that activity C C C N twenty three, which we uh, fill when we send any parcel to other country. So um, complete C N twenty three or ITNET, have we sent or received is also a standard for. Uh, standard EMS operation. EDI is electronic uh, messages or the scanning will transmit to the uh, server. It's also a um, standard. And customer service uh, response quality, uh, which is eye care, we know the eye care app. And other aspects includes times and customs, uh, credit and resdit, which um, the custom sends the scanning. And we have done a sort analysis for our um, service quality. So um, we have some strengths like secure and reliable service, global network, and geo cooperation because we are all a member of um, the postal cooperatives. And we have well established infrastructure um, to the remote areas also. And most of the countries have government support for EMS. And our weaknesses include uh, delayed deliveries, custom delays, high operation cost delayed transport and uh, transmission and we also have some weight and size restrictions and um, sometimes limited coverage because in most of our countries in, um, in the, four, uh, the group of our four countries we don't have EMS service in the real remote areas we only have the EMS service in the big cities and the urban areas so it's a weakness for us and the opportunities include the new technological advancement because we are living in the fourth industrial revolution uh, era. So there are a lot of advancements taking place in technology. We can use these uh, advantages to improve our service quality. And e-commerce growth, we know that after COVID or during COVID, e-commerce has uh, growing rapidly around the world. People tend to order online so we can um, if we want to, uh, we can take this opportunity to uh, grow our EMS service and the sustainable solutions, new partnerships with different countries and different organizations. Our third uh, competition from private career and economic recession. Some, uh, after COVID, most of the countries are suffering from economic recession, so um, people don't want to send uh, persons to different countries by paying so much money. So it's, it's also a threat, security concerns, because we are dependent on technology, so any times, any cyber attack or any crash in the um, server can cause harm. Regulatory changes and global political instability is also a threat. So uh, I have analyzed, uh, we have analyzed some the unique selling points of our competitors, like what they are doing, why they are um, why they possess the most of the market share and why don't post uh, doesn't have this. So for DHL, they provide very speedy service. They have own global network. They uh, provide same del same day delivery service around the world. If you send something from Bangladesh, you can get it uh, within the same day around this Asia Pacific region. So they provide same day delivery service. They provide door to door delivery service. They are open 24-7. 365 days around the year. So, uh, and they, they have a visible E2A, end to end track and trace, and they have return policy, which Post doesn't have. FedEx uh, is a first and reliable service. They have speedy custom clearance, uh, and they um, provide different value added solutions to the customer also. Uh, they have a facility to uh, schedule to pick up and delivery. If the customer wants to um, pick up, if, uh, if the customer wants to uh, wants their product to be delivered in a specific time, they can set the time and FedEx uh, do this service, provide this service to their customers. And they also have eco-friendly or online bills. We know almost of, uh, around the world climate 
is one of the uh, most talked topics. So people want the green service, credit free service, so finance is providing them to uh, earn the customer satisfaction or customer trust. And they have a uh, um, they provide free FedEx supplies to their customers and also uh, they have a compensation policy for lost and damaged product. And UPS is uh, also a global reach, customized e-commerce solution, efficient last mile delivery service. And they also have the next, same day next day delivery service. Uh, and they are carbon neutral and sustainable initiatives they are taking. So this, this attracts customers. You know when you say I'm giving the uh, sustainable services, green services, so it attracts customers. And they have online shipping solutions for customers. So these are the comparison of um, Post and their main competitors around the world. And uh, this is, uh, this slide says some analysis of our four countries. So it's the export and import volume analysis of Bangladesh, Bhutan, Nepal, and Maldives. So uh, as you can see, but it, it's not like that, you know, you, you can see that Bangladesh is, have so much volume, but it's not like that because Bangladesh has a lot of population um, uh, yeah. other than this country. So yeah. it seems like a lot, but it's not compared to our population. So you can see that uh, we have uh, last uh, three years data, 2020, 2021, and 2022. So it's our total um, in 2022. Bangladesh handled 52,259 total international mails, which is very low compared to our population. And these are the data of Bhutan, Maldives, and Nepal. So um, in uh, Bangladesh and Bhutan cases, uh, there's a slight increase in the international mail handle, uh, volume of international mail handle, but for Maldives and uh, also for Nepal, but for Maldives, I don't know, it's maybe I have done some mistake, yeah, sorry, uh, it's also increasing, I have done some mistake. And this is the total domestic EMS handled, Maldives doesn't have any domestic EMS service, but Bangladesh, Bhutan and Nepal have, so I have analyzed only the three country data. So uh, in, we have a, a very big sector, because as I said earlier, that we have a lot of populations, we have a very big market for domestic EMS, as we can see from the data. In 2022, Bangladesh has had uh, 14,70,904 domestic EMS. So uh, since Bhutan and Nepal uh, doesn't have that much of population, so their number is a uh, little bit low. But we have a, a big market in, for domestic EMS service. And these are our leg one, two, three performance um, uh, for Bangladesh. You know the delivery, on-time delivery, on-time transport, and on-time exports. So these data are extracted from UP website or what uh, Jack gave us. So you all, all you all you have seen all these data before. So I'm not going to um, explain it further. So these are the item and quality. Um, so uh, the, according to the uh, UP standard, you have to reach at least 60% uh, ultimate quality. So um, Maldives and Nepal are a little bit behind, uh, but the, the standard, a little bit behind from the standard. So other electric performance includes the time and customs and the delay in delivery. So you, you can see Bangladesh takes uh, average 43 hours to classroom clearance for classroom clearance, where Bhutan, Maldives are doing good, Nepal is also doing good. But UP standard is, you know, that less than six hours. With uh, oh, sorry, within 24 hours, they have to do the classroom clearance. But we are far from that. Sorry. So from this analysis, we have identified some problems in uh, our EMS service. So the problems include in the delivery sectors, uh, the late delivery, lack of delivery information. Uh, lack of proper reason and action codes in the scanning and uh, need for the late three, uh, revalidation is our problem we have identified. And in the transport sector, problem in the destination transport standard. We, uh, most of the, the countries, three of countries doesn't have any transport standard or uh, the late transport is also a problem. In the transmission, lack of proper scanning or out of sequence scanning uh, is a problem because we don't do all the scannings and if, 
even if we do, we do not follow the sequence. So it's a problem. And in the customer service quality, sometimes the late opening of the eye care inquiry is a problem and re late reply also problems. And some other problems is too much time in customs, lack of proper item and uh, fill up and no PFP or pay for apartments um, for Bangladesh and Nepal. So these are the problems we have identified from our analysis. And if we want to get, uh, if we want to achieve the best quality our best service, how can we go there? How can we achieve the best quality? So there are some uh, strategies or uh, propose, uh, pr proposition from us, like uh, we need, we should evaluate our current operation system and revalidate our standards. Uh, we should uh, make partnerships and alliance with customs, airlines and uh, business and uh, e-commerce business and other countries because custom delays is one of the most important reasons we don't get m m more, more numbers uh, in the um, compliance report. So we need to have a good relationships, we need to build relationships with the customs. And invest in technology and develop uh, robust quality control method. So it's very important because uh, it's a technology era. If we don't uh, invest or if we don't uh, improve our um, technical support, technological support, we cannot achieve uh, good service quality. And training and skill development for uh, compliance management and customer relationship building. So training to the staff and skill development of the staff is very necessary because they handle the, they actually handle the, all the EMS products. And competitive pricing and incentive for the customers and feedback and continuous improvement. We need to take feedback from the customer how to improve our services and we need to follow their um, uh, you know, suggestion uh, to improve our service. Um, this is the action plan. Uh, we have uh, action plan from Bangladesh like for delivery performance, uh, increase of the delivery performance, we need to reduce late delivery to 25%, provide 100% delivery info within the first quarter of 2024, uh, transport performance, we validated leg 1 and leg 2 standard and reduce late delivery uh, from 20% to 0% and for export, reduce late export and ensure all scanning with proper uh, sequence. And for PFP, we need to consider at least one PFP to achieve the compliance of UPO. And also for export volume growth, we need to um, have a robust marketing and promotional activities. As our second group said, that we need to increase our um, promotional activities and good relationship with customers and our customers. And this is the action plan for Bhutan. Since Bhutan uh, are performing better uh, in EMS, so they don't have too much problems, that they have a little bit problems in customer service, so which uh, which is the, uh, they need to reduce the time and open uh, the inquiry as reply partner, so it will be uh, done immediately and they uh, need to regulate their transport standards and include all the office of exchange codes. And for export volume growth, it's, it's for all of us, we need to um, uh, increase our volume growth, so we need to robust marketing and pro promotional activities with, with relationship with customers. And this is the action plan for Maldives. So Maldives is also doing good, so they have problem in the only few problems in the EMS even complex. So they need to ensure EMH scanning, uh, EDA scanning, and provide activity for all countries. And they need to revalidate their transport standard and update their operational guidelines. And for Nepal, um, they have some problems in the delivery performance, EM and, uh, EMS even complex, export performance, customer service, and export growth, uh, volume growth. So they have some problems. In the, uh, we have uh, prepared an action plan that we will do or we will um, fix this problem by next year, mid of next year. So when we change, uh, when we um, want to um, you know, um, include new, new things, new technology, training, staff development, there will be a change and people tend, tend to change, uh, resist the change. So when change occurs, how to adapt to that change? So these are some things like you have to foster a culture of adaptability in your organization to adapt to the change and you should be prepared for any kind of crisis. 
Also, you have to um, have a customer-centric approach because postal service is totally dependent on the customers. So, uh, we have to think about the customers, their satisfaction. So, we have to have a customer-centric uh, uh, approach. We should celebrate our small wins because it will motivate us. It will, um, <coughs> it will strengthen the uh, inter-relationship among the employees. And good leadership and regional cooperation is also necessary to change the activity. And in conclusion, we can say that by capitalizing, we have seen uh, in our SOT analysis, by capitalizing on opportunities such as technological advancement, e-commerce growth, global partnership, EMS can address the threats like the competition, economic volatility, security concern. So strategic matters that align with the international standard, leverage customer feedback and embrace innovative technologies will be essential for uh, sustained enhancement of EMS service quality. So that's all from my side, from our group side. Thank you for such a And also thank you for our, uh, to our post director for always guiding us. Okay, thank, thank you. you so much. Okay, thank you so much. Any, any greatest that are Thank you, this group. You know, I know that um, you come up with the, the, the big effort for coming up with the big operations, focusing, and then we do focusing in the world. What we have done, you learn from last week. And this is also the big example, one of the big examples, you know, why you consolidate all the, I mean, the lesson learned, also the change in the post organization. And also this one, and you this one, then you come up with this. And then you have some competitive analysis. Thank you for this. And SWOT analysis, and this that you, you stand up. And that's why all the, when you are focusing on international operational pipeline, the limit of this, as I told you, information flow or the EDI exchange between the stakeholders, right? And what is the physical flow? This is all the operation you need to move and transmit the item, right? With the, tar with the target and the transit time as committed to the customer. Mm -hmm. And we are talking about what the financial flow is the way you do the payment. You need to improve after that it your it's based on your IT infrastructure. And also how can you equip I mean the you keep uh, something wise for the, the I mean the human resources for the people who work at the ground, yeah, on the ground there. Eh? That's why, thank you all for this. We try to capture all the aspects for the international model of my life. And thank you for the SWAT analysis. Yeah? I do love this the most. It's like a, you know, many groups, you know, what you have done is exceptional. Three groups. Big hand for all of you. Yeah? Thank you.